Hey, this is Mr. Robinson. We're going over our white belt curriculum. This is white belt, white stripe. So we're going to start with our first, um, with our first piece of information on our traditional stripe, which is going to be attention stance. So this is one of the first things that we learned. So we want to make sure we take our feet together, stand tall, just like a popsicle. From here, bow for respect. All right, looks just like this. Attention stance, sir, or no, or two if it was a woman uh, coaching, it would be ma'am. Bow for respect. Okay. Our second piece in our white stripe for our white belt is going to be our action stance number one and our action stance number two. Okay, so how this is going to work? If I was standing at attention, I would do my bow for respect. Now, from here, what's going to happen is, is if this is my right hand right here, this will be my right leg. Well, I'm going to slide, step back with my right leg. My fingers come up just like this. Curl my fingers down. Wrap my thumb around, and then I'll put my thumbs on my cheeks. This is action stance number one, and that's with the right leg back. If I were to switch my feet. Just like this, this would be action stance number two, okay? So now from here, if I'm facing you, my attention stance, I bow for respect, I step back with my right, just like this, I got a little line between my legs, toes are facing forward, curl my fingers down, wrap my thumbs around, put my thumbs on my cheek. This is action stance number one. If we were to switch our feet, we would jump and switch just like this. Now on that switch, if the coach calls it, there'll be a loud key out there. So I'm action stance number two, coach says switch, here, Kia. Switch again, Kia. Then from here, call attention stance. Sir, bow for respect. Hey everyone, this is Mr. Robinson. We're doing white belt gold stripe. So on this clip, we're gonna learn our one-two punch, okay? So from here, we're gonna start attention stance, bow for respect. Now we're gonna go action stance number one. So I'm gonna jump right into my action stance with a loud Kia. Now from here, our lead hand. All right, that's the one in the front. From here, my fists are tight. I'm gonna shoot that punch straight out, just like this. Now, this hand's tight to my face. This hand's tight to my face. When I shoot this punch out nice and straight, this shoulder rotates and touches my cheek. Now, my shoulder and my hands are squeezing my cheeks. That's our number one punch. Now, from here, I'm gonna pull this hand back, just like this. Now, I'm gonna shoot out the second punch, and I'm gonna rotate that punch out. Boom, straight in front of my nose. This shoulder touches my cheek. And as this second punch happens, my back foot's gonna pivot. So from here, I throw the two, boom, just like that. So I got the one here, and then the two. And now if the coach calls it out as a one-two combo, you go, shh, shh, just like that, shh, shh. All right, now from here, side stance, I'm in my position, lead hand, this is the number one punch, good, switch, number two punch, okay? Now that was from the action stance number one. If I were to switch my feet into action stance number two, whichever hand is in front is the number one. So now from here, this is my one, and I pivot and rotate, my number two, still touching my shoulder to my cheek, pivoting my back foot, okay? So we have the one and the two punch from the action stance number one and the action stance number two. Our second technique in our white belt gold stripe is gonna be the push kick, okay? So from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at attention stance, I bow for respect, I'm gonna go to my action stance number one. Kia, just like this. Now. I'm gonna take my rear foot and I'm gonna point it to the side like at three o'clock, okay? So this is my, you're my 12, this is my three. I'm gonna bring this foot back and I'm gonna get on the ball of my foot kind of like I'm tapping my foot on the floor, okay? And my hands are up. So this is my kicking position for our push kick. The point of contact is actually the ball of the foot. So I bring it up, I get good posture. Now I'm gonna kick that foot straight out. I'm gonna kick higher than my belt, just like that. So if a coach would count for me, one, shh. Two, shh, three, shh. All right, I'm hitting with the ball of that foot. Now if I'm sidestep here, this is what my stance looks like. Tap that foot, I pick it up, shh, one, shh, two. All right, now, if I were to switch my stance, action stance number two, key out. Lead foot, come up, ball of the foot. Tap in just like this, shh, one, shh, two. Three. Now, very important that that back foot stays flat. I'm in my side stance just like this. Here, my back foot stays flat, and I'm standing tall. Shh, one, shh, two, just like that. And that is our push kick. Hello, everybody. This is Mr. Robinson. We're in our white belt with our blue stripe. We're going to go over our hammer fist for self-defense. So I'm going to start first, come attention. Bow for respect, I'm gonna get my action stance number one. Kia. Now from here, remember, we make a fist, curl our fingers down, wrap our thumb around. 
I'm hitting with the bottom part of the hammer. So I want you to go just like this. This is the contact point, okay? So from here, I'm in my, my, I'm in my action stance. I bring my hand up, and I'm gonna bring it down. Boom, just like that. A little bit past my face. So from here, shh, 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 shh. If I was to switch my stance, action stance number two, I bring my hand up, got that hammer right here, just like this. Shh, shh, shh. Now that's gonna be one of our self-defense strikes, but we're also gonna be using that for a board break as well. All right, our second technique in our blue stripe for our white belt is gonna be our self-defense on our wrist grab. So we got single wrist grab and then double wrist grab, okay? So how this is gonna work, we're just gonna stand square just to review. We put our hands like this, and I want everybody to do this with me. I'm gonna go around, hook, and then push down. All right, one more time. Around, hook, and then down. So if we, when we were partner training, I got uh, Coach Gears that comes in, okay? How this is gonna work is we're gonna do our single grab first. So if coach grabs me right here, just like this, I'm gonna step back. So I don't wanna just stand square. I'm gonna step back in my stance, like an action stance, bring my fist up, first hit's gonna be the hammer fist. So I go hammer fist, around, hook, down, and then I'm gonna hammer fist one more time, okay? So from here, if I'm standing square, he grabs, I step back to get base, hammer fist, around, hook and down, hammer fist, just like that, okay? So those are our individual ones. Our next one, he's gonna grab like this. I'm gonna step back around, hook and down, and then I'm gonna go hammer fist, hammer fist, all right? And that'll be our, our uh, double grab. So one more time on that. So whatever stance is the strongest for you, step back and open your hands up, around, hook and down, hammer fist one, hammer fist two, okay? And then that is our self-defense techniques for our white belt blue strike. Hey guys, Mr. Robinson here. I'm here with Mr. Gears. We're on the white belt purple stripe. This is um, our grappling stripe or for wrestling. It's our wrestling technique. So we're gonna learn what we call the underhook takedown to lockdown, okay? So how this is gonna start, I'm gonna face my partner just like this. My knees are facing his knees, our hands are out like that. I'm gonna reach across and I'm gonna grab his wrist just like that. Once I get his wrist, I'm gonna bring my knee to his knee just like this. And I'm gonna take my arm right here and I'm gonna get in his armpit and I'm gonna hook his, um, his, uh, I'm gonna hook his shoulder, just like this, we call this the underhook. So I got the wrist grip, the underhook. Now from here, all I do is I'm just gonna do what we call pull and twist. I pull and twist him over, just like that. I'm gonna get my knees tight to him. I'm gonna get my arm under his neck, and I'm gonna take my hands, and I'm gonna sandwich them together. Now when I sandwich them together, I am not interlocking my fingers. I just take two pieces of bread, and I jam them together, just like this. Underhook takedown. All right, we'll do it one more time here. Now too, we'll also learn it on both sides. So I can grab this one and underhook, or I can grab this one and underhook. It doesn't matter, you do whatever you want, okay? Uh, wrist grab, step in with the knee, underhook, pull and twist, and I go tight lockdown, just like this, okay? So this knee's tight, and this knee's tight, and, all my, and I'm chest to chest, all right? And I hold for three seconds, one, two, three, and then I let my partner up, okay? So this is our wrestling technique for our white belt, Purple stripe. Hey everybody, Mr. Robinson here. We're doing white belt, red stripe. This is our grappling stripe for our uh, ground techniques. So first we're gonna be learning how to shrimp, okay? So how this is gonna work is I'm gonna lay on my back like this. I'm gonna be in prayer position. I'm gonna do what we call a side bump. So I'm gonna side bump. I'm gonna get on the balls of my feet and I'm gonna turn my body. Now you notice, no space down here. And I'm gonna wiggle my butt. I turn on my side and I shrimp my butt just like this, okay? So that's our first little technique that we need to be good at, okay? So when this happens, I'll turn on my side and I'm gonna get my butt moving just like that. Now if you see me facing just like this, here I turn, I lift, and I get rotate on my shoulder and I push with my feet, just like that, okay? Now, now the reason we're learning that stripping technique is because we're gonna use it as an escape from two positions. So our first position is gonna be called what we call the mount, okay? So we're gonna break this down really quick. I'm gonna lay down like this. Coach Gears is gonna stand up. So as he's standing over the top of me, he's squeezing my hips. I bring my knees in nice and tight. I'm in prayer position. Two hands go to the leg. I turn on my side and I'm digging my feet into the mat and I'm gonna wiggle my feet out. One, center up, two, 
and my feet are to here. That's phase one. All right, phase two, he drops down to his knees. Knee one, knee two. So now what's going to happen is, is I'm going to put my hands right to here on his leg, just like I did, but he's closer to me. I'm going to bump him and make his hand post right there. I push, I wiggle my butt all the way out. I bring my feet up, I sit up, I lock him up, just like this. And this is what we call the guard, closed guard, nice and tight. So if he wanted to try to hurt me or hit me, I'm just holding him, okay? All right, very good, one more time. So let's do it like this here. So from here, I'm in prayer position. I put my hands on his legs. And I can't just do this, see my hands? My hands have gotta be busy. I need to use my hands to hold him. So from here, I put my hands on his leg and I hold his leg. This will not work unless you're holding his leg. I bump him over to there and I wiggle my butt out. Pull my legs, sit up, close my guard, make it just like this, super tight, okay? Okay, our next technique is gonna be shrimp from side control. So. The first position we did was the mount. This one we're gonna do side control. So the top guy is gonna put their knee to the hip, knee to the shoulder, and all I want you to do is just put your elbow on the mat, just like this, okay? That's it. He is gonna to touch my shoulder, just like this. He's gonna bump into me. He's gonna move his butt back a little bit. That's the shrimp. Now this bottom leg is just gonna cut between my belly. He's gonna spin his legs all the way around. He opens his legs up, and then he pulls me in really tight, and he holds me, just like this. Ugh. Super tight, okay? One more time, let's do it from the other side. So we're here, knee to the hip, knee to the shoulder, elbow to the mat, hand on the mat. He side bumps, boom, hips back, cuts the knee, wiggles it through, boom, holds me down, just like this. Doesn't let me up. This is good self-defense training right here, okay? All right, and that's our second technique, which is the shrimp from side control. Hey guys, this is Mr. Robinson, and I got Mr. Gears with me. We're on our white belt black stripe. This is our character stripe, okay? So as a white belt, we're gonna be learning how to introduce ourselves. So this is a very important in martial arts and it's a very important in, uh, in life. So the things that we're gonna be working on, we have a little script for you and it's gonna be, hello, my name is Mr. Robinson, what's yours? And then that person's gonna tell you their name and then, it's gonna, then we're gonna follow up and say, it's really nice to meet you. Okay? Now the other thing as we're doing this is we're going to be learning how to do a good handshake. Okay, So if I were to look at Mr. Gears and uh, he might be a new student or he might be a new person and I'm at school, it doesn't matter. I'm going to walk up to him. Instead of waiting for people to come to me, I'm going to go to them. And I'm going to walk up to him and say, hey, it's really nice to meet you. My name is Mr. Robinson. What's your name? Mr. Gears, nice to meet you. Yeah, it's awesome. We're glad you're here. So we're working on our handshake and we're working on our introduction. So parents. I'm really pushing you guys to help with stripe number six, and we're working on that introduction. And we're gonna be doing it in class as well, but it's, hello, my name is, extend a hand, and then ask what theirs is, okay? And we'll be sending the script home also as well, but this video is just to kind of give you guys an introduction, parents, on how to work with your kid. But we really want you guys to uh, be practicing this at home. School's coming up soon for us here. Um, in 2018, so we want to we want to get our kids ready.